All righty, old gatekeeper here. Got uh, Mr. House Builders uh, Palomar Super Base 1000 here. So you got two driving four, two 1446s. Sorry about that. Two 1446s driving four 2879s. Okay. Basically, uh, Mr. House Builder, he had a uh, four 50 amp bridge and rectifiers that were blown. All four of them were blown. And had a cap, a 30,000 uh, mica fared cap that was blown. Um, <clears throat> and there was a few other things. The variable on there was, 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 uh, had some bad spots in it. And also there was a padding resistor that was blown as well. And uh, also the fan that was on there, bud, it, it just wasn't big enough. Um, also, there were there was individual holes right here. It's kind of keeping back some of that airflow. Some of that air is hitting that hole and kind of bouncing back through the fan, so it wasn't getting all the air it could get in here. So I went ahead and and got rid of that and just opened that up for you. Okay, and also I went ahead and got you a really good fan, man. Because the, the problem is, you know, this is only an 80 millimeter fan hole. So, you know, that's kind of a small fan, and usually you try to use like 120 millimeter with a four pill, five pill, whatever. So I got you a real, real heavy duty 80, meter, 80 millimeter fan to uh, help push that um, air a little bit there, man. I got you a current limiting resistor right here for it. This fan actually pulls so much current, man. It's uh, <laughs> a little 12 volt regulator would run pretty hot. I'd have to put an extra extra uh heat sink on it this is it's pulling some current man so i just went ahead and just threw that in there for you man you know i don't think you'll, you'll just hear it slow down a little bit when you key but it'll be perfectly fine man so um <clears throat> went ahead and put you a 100 ohm allen bradley variable went ahead and got you a 100 ohm 5 watt right here okay just in case you want to turn that variable down and kind of help, uh, you know, in conjunction with this and that, you got seven watts worth of resistor. All right, and what I went ahead and did to make everything a little bit easier, we got you a 100 amp uh, rectified module right here. This thing's bulletproof, man. Major shout out to old DC, uh, real, real, real deal, DC power. Major shout out to you, big brother. These things are bulletproof, I love them. It, it don't only make things easier, it also makes things better, <laughs> way more efficient, less voltage drop also. Um, and then I went ahead and got you one good 56,000 microfarad cap, which is perfectly adequate for the amount of amperage it is. All right, we got two 50 amp transformers here, but they are not on their high top, high tap. So this is not a hundred amp setup here. It's probably running around 70, 75 amps or so. So, um, and it's 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 working well, especially for what you're running at. I was thinking about wiring this switch up so you can turn to the high tap, but I don't see no need in it. We already talked about that. All right, bud, let's go ahead and do a quick uh, quick test and show you this thing working, man. Okay, I've got this voltmeter right here. Shout out to Mr. Matt for donating that. <laughs> Hooked up to the box so you can see what the voltage is doing. All right, when you turn it on, you're gonna hear a little delay before the fan kicks on. And this fan, man, it's 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 pretty fast, so it's got some got, got some sound to it. Once you get the top on there, man, it'll dampen that sound a little bit. All righty, so we're floating at 18.4 volts. Okay, we're gonna drive a, my bench radio, which is doing four watts. All right, I went ahead and put you a new knob on there too. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what I mean about this dead key. Okay, we're dead key on one watt with the radio. Okay, we're on a thousand watt slug. Okay, we're dead keying one watt with the radio. If I turn this all the way up, here's what your dead key is going to be. About 210 bird. See what I'm saying? So that's, you know, that's, that's a little high. So I'm going to back this variable down. So you're dead keying about 100 watts. Okay, and then we're going to swing. Go. Yeah. 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 All right, here's your 
feet. Yeah. All right, right there about 900, 950 watts. All right, so that's 300 watts RMS, hitting about 900, 900 to 950 watts PP. All righty, trying to just race through this, man. You got a busy day today. All right, we're going to go ahead and hook up the hot radio. We're going to double our drive, and yes, I. this is a little, little too much drive for this. I wouldn't really be running it this hard, but I'm just kind of doing a stress test just to let you see what it can do. And you'll notice there's not enough power supply. You're about to see there's not enough power supply for this much drive. All right, RMS. Do. Oh. Uh. All right, I'm turning the variable all the way up. Do. Doing about 370, 380, maybe RMS. Peaking door. Right there, about a, right there at a thousand. And you're dropping the 14 one volts. The duty cycle on these transformers are like 14.8, 14.7, so you're past the duty cycle. So that's too much drive. Eight watts RMS, which is peaking about 40 watts peak. You know, that's too much drive for this setup, but. There she is, man. She's working well. Got, your, got you all fixed up. Got you a new fan on here. New uh, variable. And a whole new rectification and filter system. So there you go, big brother. I'm going to head and hook this little light right here that whoever put right there. I'm going to head and hook that back up. And as well, it's also working as a bleeder a bleeder resistor, okay? So to bleed this cap all the way down, which you don't have no problem with that. We'll leave the lights on right here just so we can check and see how fast that bleeds out. And there it goes. It's almost completely now. All right, so there you go, man. It bleeds out pretty quick. So it's acting like a bleeder resistor too, man. So you're good to go, man. All right, man, we'll get the top on this thing. I know you're going to drop by and pick it up tomorrow, probably. Appreciate it, Mr. House Builder. Appreciate your patience, brother. Palomar Super Base 1000. Back on the air. Gatekeeper right here in Georgia. Hey, we got a lot of stuff about to be putting on e uh, eBay, y'all. Take advantage of it. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. You'll see. So... Get, get your money ready. I, I'm going to be putting some stuff on there, y'all. We're going to be digging digging pretty deep. The deepest I've ever dug. I said that to say this. God bless. Merry Christmas coming up in 73rds. I'm gone. Bye, bye, bye.